Right, so imagine you are looking at the two big players in the world of super powerful AI brains, Nvidia and Huawei. Nvidia, the established champion, and Huawei, the ambitious challenger. Both have come up with this incredible piece of kit design to handle the massive computing demands of today's AI, especially those giant language models like ChatGPT or DeepSeek R1. Let's start with Nvidia's offering, the NVL72. Think of this as a single giant super GPU housed in one big rack. It's packed with 72 of Nvidia's top of the line Blackwell B200 graphics cards and 36 of their Grace CPUs working together as a super team. The secret sauce here is something called NVLink. It's like a super fast highway that lets all these GPUs talk to each other incredibly quickly and share information efficiently. We are talking about a mind boggling 130 terabytes per second of communication just within that single rack. That's like downloading the entire Netflix library in the blink of an eye. It also has a massive shared pool of super fast memory, 13.5 terabytes of it. So these huge AI models can fit right inside and be processed lightning fast. The NVL72 is specifically designed to train these massive AI models much faster. Nvidia claims it can train models like ChatGPT, MOE 1.8T, four times quicker than their previous generation. It's also incredibly fast for inference, which is when the AI is actually used to answer questions or generate text, claiming to be up to 30 times faster than before. Because it's so power dense, needing around 120 to 140 kilowatts per rack, it needs liquid cooling to keep everything from melting down. So the NVL72 is a top performing, tightly integrated base designed for those who need the absolute cutting edge and are comfortable with Nvidia's well-established software ecosystem. Now let's look at Huawei's contender, the Cloud Matrix 384 Supernote. Huawei is taking a slightly different approach here. Instead of one giant GPU, they are building an AI native cloud infrastructure based on the idea that everything can be pulled, everything is equal and everything can be combined. The 384 in the name likely refers to the number of their Ascent Neural Processing Units, NPUs, inside this supernote. These NPUs are Huawei's answer to Nvidia's GPUs. This system aims to pull together various resources like GPUs, CPUs, their Ascent NPUs, and even things like data processing units, DPUs, storage, and memory, making them available as needed. Think of it as a very flexible and adaptable system. The CloudMatrix 384 uses a new high-speed interconnect bus to link all this resource together. While specific bandwidth numbers aren't widely available, it's likely that it doesn't quite match the raw speed of Nvidia's NVLink within a single rack. In terms of processing power, Huawei said their new supernode achieved 300 petaflops of computing power in their Wuhu data center compared to Nvidia's NVL72's 180 petaflops. However, it's important to note that these figures might be based on different benchmarks or configurations. The CloudMatrix 384 is built using Huawei's own Ascent AI chips. These chips like the Ascent 910B or 910C are generally seen as being in the ballpark of Nvidia's previous generation chips like the H100 or A100. There is also talk of a future Ascent 900 and 20C aiming to compete more directly with Nvidia's Blackwell. One really interesting point is that Huawei's system is already being used to support real-world AI models. For example, they are working with a Chinese AI startup called SiliconFlow, and their CloudMatrix 384 Superno is supporting DeepSeek R1, a reasoning model. In fact, they've reported achieving a throughput of 1920 tokens per second for DeepSeek R1 while maintaining high accuracy, which they say is comparable to the performance of a H100 deployment. This suggests that Huawei's system using domestically produced chips is making significant strides. Huawei Cloud has also fully adapted over 160 third-party models, including DeepSeq, and their own Pangu large model has been implemented in over 30 industries across various scenarios. In terms of efficiency, Huawei is aiming for high density and high efficiency with Cloud Matrix 384. Because of its resource pooling design, it might be able to use different coding methods. However, achieving the same level of raw compute density as, as the NVL72 with potentially less powerful individual NPUs might be a challenge. When it comes to tackling computing bottlenecks, Nvidia's NVL72 directly addresses the communication speed between GPUs and the limits of memory capacity and 
speed, which are crucial for training massive models. Huawei's Cloud Matrix 384 with its resource pooling aims to alleviate bottlenecks related to data input and output, pre-processing and memory access patterns by making various resources readily available through its high-speed bus. So to put it simply, NVIDIA's NVL72 is the current king of the hill for sheer top-end AI processing power within a single rack, especially for training the very large models, leveraging their mature CUDA software. Huawei's Cloud Matrix 384 Supernova represents a more flexible cloud-native approach, focusing on pooling diverse resources and building a strong domestic AI ecosystem with their Ascent chips and Mindspore software. While it might not yet match the absolute peak performance of the NVL72, it's showing strong progress, particularly in inference and in supporting China's growing demand for AI infrastructure amid US sanctions. The success of the Cloud Matrix 384 will really depend on how well their high-speed interconnect bus performs and the continued advancement and availability of their Ascend NPUs. Thanks for watching till the end. If you like what we talk about on this channel, please consider subscribing. Till next time, bye.